All right, fellas, we have something pretty crazy today. We have these AR500 glasses? I don't know. Josh over at Whitecap Kayak has sent them over, said they've been sitting on his uh, dresser for a long time. He calls them the sewer grate glasses, and I can see why. They're AR500, uh, supposedly. It's like, let's see what it actually does. We have Ken here that is going to uh, model them for us. This is our clear ballistics gel, and we're like, okay, let's shoot them and see what calibers it stops. But first, what I want to do is why we have this clear, uh, well, brand new clear ballistics gel. Well, there's this rumor about 22 bouncing around the skull. We played around with it earlier, but the skull was already kind of cracked and it didn't give us a good reading. So we're going to see if my 22 little integrally suppressed assassin's pistol here, this is from Innovative Arms. I like it because it's like the old Sylvester Stallone movie. Anyway, we're gonna see if a 122 rattles around or not. We might get messy. <laughs> I don't think it penetrated. It went in right here and it cracked us. I was just like, whoa, that was crazy because it cracked all the whole circumference here. But I think there's so much fluid in here, it didn't go all the way through. But you can imagine if this is two layers of hard plastic and a good bit of liquid in the center with this, all this green stuff, that would make sense. It looks like uh, the bullet might squeeze between. So that's what we're going to find out. We're just going to go in the middle of the glasses and see what happens. <laughs> it, so it went right in between these two grooves. The bullet must have slid through and we have a nice little mushroomed 22 long rifle round right there. You can see the entry. Oh, the entry was here. It bounced off the cheekbone, really cool. And then just landed right inside the cheek right there. It's nine millimeter time. We have this awesome CZ Scorpion that is all tricked out by Innovative Arms. So it's an SBR and of course an integrally suppressed Scorpion now. Anyway, stay tuned for the full video. But speaking of NFA things, I got sidetracked for about an hour visiting our sponsor, and our sponsor for today is Gunspot.com. Think buying and selling of all the pew pew things with a heavy amount of NFA items, which is how I got all sidetracked. Even found a British APC, like a freaking tank for sale there. The cool thing about Gunspot is unlike a competitors like Gunbroker, who has like 6% plus fees. Gunspot has a solid 1% fee, and so your, more of your money goes into the pew pew things and less to greedy, greedy websites. We have some 147 grains just because it's a good chunk of lead. We'll see if it squeezed through our little sewer grate glasses there. Oh snap, I think they broke. I was holding for offset, but I think I held a little too high. We hit right on the edge. We broke our weld, which I expected. Uh, but boy, did Ken get fragged. So if they're right here, oh my goodness, bullet went in there. Oh, and here's the awesomeness. Look at that. Part of the bullet went through and up the top of the skull right here. It did not penetrate the flesh, although something may have gone out there. That is pretty cool. I want to see what happens when we hit dead center. <laughs> so we hit right in the sewer grate glasses AR500. All it did is chip away the, uh, the coating, but that bullet's still going straight through because you can see, let's see if it's hanging on the nose. Oh yeah, it went right in there and fragmented all in the cheekbone right there. FNX Tactical. I haven't shot this bad boy in a while, uh, but I got some American Marksman 147, no, 230 grain, uh, 45. Oh, but they stayed on. Wait, something, well, let's see, let's see. It went in the eyeball right there. Was this big gaping hole here earlier? <laughs> Okay, that's an exit. So it went in glasses, through eyeball, through back of head. So what it's doing is it's shaving that bullet into a few pieces. The AR-500 is holding up. So it's just making one bullet smaller bullets and still doing its thing and going through it all. 50 <laughs> Desert Eagles. Hard to just say that without laughing because this is a little bit crazy. Really solid hit right here on a fresh portion. So it hit very well there. The, it, the armor itself is still intact. 
It just bent. Dude got fragged bad, bad. I see skull fragments out the back. Definitely went in the jawbone there. Oh my gosh, the face jello is crazy. Look at that, the, the skin, nose craziness. Fluids out the back, it's just crazy. Now we have the Ranger Point stock and uh, Costa, Chris Costa four end on it. This is gonna be fun. It went away! <laughs> That was the coolest one yet. Oh man. The, oh, the skull's gone. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> That's nuts. That's nuts. Brain fragments everywhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bullet went through and through. We have part of Ken's skull in the back here. This is nasty kind of stuff. Totally plastic, but glasses main piece went this way. Dang, that wasn't as much. So I was aiming about a three eighths inch over the frame because I knew offset, uh, but I nailed that top portion. It split it, broke our other weld of our other, uh, uh, you know, whatever you call the ear frame part. And that's all there is to it. Last handgun, we have a Smith & Wesson 500 with a 500 grain uh, hollow point. <laughs> We finally broke a piece of it out. We broke one layer and, uh, yeah, squeezed between the other. Did that layer end up going? Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, there it is. Come check it. Come check it. Look at that. So it actually sent it through his face. So uh, that's the rest of the glasses right there. And I think Ken has met his demise. <laughs> All right, I've got Ken all over me, so we're going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks to Josh for sending this over. You can go check out his ministry there at Whitecap Kayak. I do not recommend AR-500 as a armor. I recommend it as a target. I definitely don't recommend it as iPro, unless you're going to just, you know, shred your bullets into lots of pieces. Thanks for watching today, guys. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Did you see that? I came in like a wrecking ball!